Hey guys, welcome to Drop Time, the self-proclaimed number one podcast that covers the latest sneaky releases. We're your hosts with the most. This is Jamal. This is Luis. Make sure to check us out on Twitter at Drop Time underscore and also on Instagram at underscore Drop Time. Today is January 31st. We have already made it through the entire first month of 2021. Uh, it's interesting. 2021 has been a, a very interesting year. This has been an interesting month. Uh, I don't know if people really... Th- do, you, do you feel like uh, so far 2021 is any different than 2020, Luis? We've had numerous, uh, I guess you could say, financial surprises in 2021. Starting off with GameStop. And yep. then we had... Um, wow, like, you know, Robinhood has been a pop- popular trading platform amongst uh, Zoomers and Millennials and whatnot. And it used to be like Robinhood was like super friendly. Like everybody talked good about it. But now it's seen as the seen as bad i think you know? they've kind of defied their name their their name was robin hood you're supposed to bring bring from the top down and spread it out to the to the masses but uh i think uh i think melvin group has kind of uh, brought them to their knees and uh made them realize hey it's not as easy as you think to get into this game it's not, it's not just melvin group i it, this is this is a really big pivot from what we usually cover at drop time but I was listening to this uh, podcast today. I forgot this guy's name. I think it's uh, Chamath or Chaman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah, the he owns uh, Social Capital and the uh, Warriors and yeah, that guy. Yeah. So basically, what he said was that there was a liquidity issue, well, supposedly a liquidity issue at Robinhood, which is the reason that they had to stop operations because they were not liquid enough. They got margin called. So, yeah, that was a part of the reason, but. Uh, but but then they came out but yeah that i th- i think that might be the actual reason but don't you think it would have mattered for the ceo to come out and just say that he was trying to make That's- excuses beyond like oh no we're not, it's not that we have we have no issue with liquidity because he's trying to save the face of his company saying we don't have a liquidity issue but That's like the that same issue. That's the same issue that's the same thing they brought up in the podcast and and unfortunately, I can't go more into it because I don't know. You know, I, yeah. I don't know the guy. And, and yeah. the only thing is that I didn't even listen to the whole podcast, man. I listened to like 20 minutes of it. <laughs> well, I guess it's, I guess, uh, I don't know. To me, uh, we'll, we won't go too deep into this. But to me, the biggest, because this stuff has happened before. There's a reason why a short squeeze is already a term. A gamma squeeze is already a term. There's a reason why this, this stuff has already happened. The difference was before it was always behind the curtains it was always things that happened from the brokerage firms and from the hedge funds and all that stuff it it happened and you might have seen like like we've seen flash crashes before and this is what caused them but the difference this time was that this was a public short squeeze it wasn't a short squeeze that it was big hedge funds doing this was a short squeeze by the masses it was a it was a collective short squeeze rather than it was one person or one group doing it. So I think that was the biggest difference. But I think this will change uh, the course of of the market forever. The course of finances, the course of just monetary value forever, which what is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. This is a good thing. It brought the amount of people it brought into the market, the amount of people it opened up their eyes of investing and the fact that you can make a difference in a company, you can make a difference in a market just by investing money into it i mean to me that's a this was a plus this is a good uh, a big change and movement in the market which is in a good way yeah that's that's you yeah the the bigger change is going to come once um how does it i think it's called DeFi. DeFi. it's a yeah it's called DeFi. it's like um it's like financial instruments backed by bitcoin oh yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, so once that gets into play, the whole financial world's gonna be rocked. Because right now, this this is crazy. This is like super going off topic to what drop time usually is. <laughs> so right now, you can get collateral and put it down with uh, certain financial companies in fintech that will give you loans based on collateral, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other different um, uh, altcoins. So you can get a loan, like a house loan or a car loan, even a credit card. You can get a credit card with collateral, with Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever cryptocurrency. So once this comes into play, 
when in the regular um when it's regulated uh, world then it's gonna completely rock it because right now the only firm that um has this available like to the masses i guess you could say is uh fidelity if i'm not mistaken so fidelity is leading the market in this uh sector and the reason collateral uh like a uh, cryptocurrency is collateral so once it's more widely adopted by like you could say the retail investor they're going to see like an explosion in the whole retail trading space. So that is something uh, everybody's looking forward to, you know? Of course, it's just the big, the biggest downside of crypto still, in my opinion, is the is the is the volatility of it. I mean, it, like, for instance, if you used it as collateral to buy a house, let's say you bought a house for 200 grand. At that point, Bitcoin was worth 10 grand and then Bitcoin goes down to being worth five grand whatever money you use as collateral just doubled the cost for you which oh. we've seen bitcoin have massive swings i think that's the biggest thing that the benefit of the dollar versus any other currency on earth is the stability of the dollar that's well, why i don't really know use. i don't know how they're gonna value it like exactly yeah that's the hard part i mean what i've seen is that you put the cryptocurrency into like a sort of like a cd account you know okay and then it's locked there and they give you half of that in equity oh with so the they're, okay so if they're giving you half of it then they're they're I, uh, factoring cool. in a 50 percent drop essentially yeah so i guess it's not it's it's, it's for financial companies it's not going to be such of a a risk because they already pre-calculated yeah. it yeah it's not such a risk but then all but then on the other side of that it it's not not devaluing but essentially it's devaluing the assets that you own because you can own one bitcoin at 30 grand if they're going to give you half on that then essentially you have 15 grand of asset versus if you had 30 grand cash in dollars they'll give you against that 30 grand not 15. so that's what it, it, it's a good progress I mean, you have to start somewhere. You can't like everything starts. There's always a, f a first for everything. So you have to start somewhere. But I think that's o the only thing that holds it back is the fact that it's so volatile still. But eventually it should find some grounds of stability. Exactly. You know what's not volatile right now, Jamal? Is sneakers coming out every single oh, week. Oh, no, that's not volatile. That, that's a consistent, consistent mass amount of sneakers coming out. Yeah. And you know what? You know what's the most, most important thing here, Jamal, is that we had a drop last week, you know, and I just want to know what happened last week, Jamal. So let, let's get straight into that. Okay. Well, before we get into that, let me just give everybody a quick rundown of what we'll see coming up this week, the week of the 31st through February 6th. So as usual, Sunday and Monday, we're not going to see anything. Tuesday, the second, we will see just a small drop. It'll be in Europe. We'll see the Air Jordan 1 mid grade school university golds drop on the Nike desktop site in Europe. And then on Wednesday, the third, we won't see anything so far. On Thursday, the fourth, we'll see highly anticipated ambush by Nike Dunk High Cosmic Fuchsia. We will also see the Nike Dunk High Dark Curry release at a few more sites. And to follow on Friday the 5th, we'll see the Air Force One Low Valentine's Day, Air Max 90 Valentine's Day, and Air Force One Low 07 Valentine's Day. So there's going to be three different shoes for the Valentine's Day pack. And then to finish out the week on Saturday the 6th, we'll see the very interesting Nike Air Force One Experimental Racer Pink. We'll see the Air Jordan 12 Low Metallic Gold or Super Bowl, a uh, few different names that you can call those. And then finally, we will see the Air Jordan 5 uh, Anthracite drop. Uh, I think a lot of people have been waiting for these. Uh, it's a decent colorway, but we'll go more in depth into that. But yeah, so let's uh, give them a recap of what we saw in the previous week. Last week on Sunday, we saw nothing. And then on Monday, we saw the Kids The Simpsons release. Uh, this is highly covered amongst everybody. It, it did sell out, but it wasn't just... Um, it's just the, the hype was there, but not as, as the hype as Supreme, you know? uh i don't know if i'd say that are you talking supreme like a few years ago you're talking supreme last season i'm talking about like supreme last season bro okay i would say the i would say the hype was uh hype was there the resale was there then because the those hoodies i mean you're talking the hoodie was like 160 bucks 170 dollars something like that i mean they're going 250 i've seen some go for 300 yeah 250 300 yeah what okay find me yeah. find me find me find me a, a supreme item consistently each week that was doing numbers like that not an issue not an issue not supreme an issue all right. of the week 
Huh? <laughs> Supreme Thursdays. Best day of the week, man. No, I'm not saying it's a bad day of the week. I'm just saying so find me something every single week that was doing numbers like that because we're talking about nearly the whole collection was doing numbers like that. I mean, the shirts were 70 bucks. They're going for over $100. Foster. I mean, you're talking about the hoodies doing that, the crew neck doing that. That was the main, fo- to me, that was the main items is the, the hoodie, the crew neck, and the tees. But, I mean, we're talking about th- those are doing like a nice like 30, 40, 50% margin. I, I, it's been a while since I've seen a lot of Supreme items in one week doing that. It's been a few right. years, honestly, in my opinion. Well, that's a perfect segue into, you know, Tuesday, nothing happened. Wednesday, nothing happened. And then Thursday, 28th, we saw something happened, you know? We saw a Converse Concepts, Chuck High 70, Southern Flame come out. Came out on Converse Concepts, Slam Jam, One Block Down, and other sites. Retail, 120. Current resale, 120 and 220. So, the numbers are kind of, like, all over the place. But, you know, this shoe... Kind of a weird looking shoe, you know. It kind of reminds me of that uh, Supreme collab did with that artist, who uh, his art was based around. Um, I don't know how much we can say this on the podcast because this is uh, I don't really want to go into this. Who's the uh, artist? Uh, I forgot his name, but it's, it's okay. Human Excrement. Okay. And urine. I don't know if you remember that. Do you remember uh, that? I can't say I remember that. I don't know why somebody would want to do art about that stuff kind of weird yeah well supreme had a collab with this guy and he did he did he did that and uh, the as you can you're saying this is what it looked like yeah it kind of gave me that vibe that orange that orange yellow vibe well there was a benefit to this at least uh i don't know if you can get that image out of your head now after what louise just said that it looks like but we had you covered on uh, sneakers and stuff we had you covered with a nice 15 percent discount on that site so it was a fairly easy cop on that site uh it's certain sizes sold out pretty quick other sizes kind of sat but don't worry because we got them on discount for you right on drop day on drop time we had 50 percent discount for you on sneakers and stuff so hopefully you guys had post notifications on for that yeah it was a solid thursday you know and the best thing about thursday is that once it happens after thursday you know what happens friday so on 29th we had the pattern new bounce 991 come out um we had said it's going to come out on a couple different websites but it only came out on naked and on concepts which we had it covered with if you had post notifications on uh retail 220 current resale 350 to 500 and more so this is definitely something to go after we know we've been telling everybody new balance is doing numbers you know new balance is hype and it's ripe and it's crazy you know we're, we're doing it did you go for these jamal was this something you were interested in or did you skip it Oh, I went. I for sure went for them. Uh, I can see why the resale is so high because these are nearly impossible to get. I think yeah, they, they sold out nearly instantly on Concepts Naked. That was an extremely tough one. And I mean, when you're talking about only a few sites, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not easy in any sense of the word at all. But you know what was easy, man? It was the Power Beats Pro Fragment collab. So they only came out on Apple. This is a super easy cop if you had post notifications enabled. Because originally the release was going to happen at a certain time. But it came out an hour early. But if you had post notifications enabled, it was just the click away. So it was pretty easy to get. Uh, retail, $250. Current resale, $300. So it was easy $50 right there. A little bit less if you had a tax. Did you get these, Jamal? Did you, do you have AirPods, Jamal, or not? I have AirPods. I do not have Powerbeats Pros. I have AirPods. Uh... I did not go for these. These are, uh, I think you can get AirPods. There's, or I, I mean, Power Beats. I think you can get Power Beats. I think there's like certain colors at Best Buy on sale for like 140 or something like that. I didn't see the point of paying this much over retail just f- because they had the Fragment logo on them. I mean, that's straight up the only difference. It's not like they made a better headphone. It's the same headphone. I didn't see much of a point. I can understand why people would want these and go for them. It's a nice subtle flex when you put that. It's like when people wear AirPods when they first came out. It was a nice flex. I feel like it's everybody was wearing. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it got a bit out of hand. People were wearing AirPods when they were just walking around and they weren't even using the AirPods. Probably the AirPod was dead sitting in their ear, but they wanted to show they had AirPods. Uh, yeah, but uh, it wasn't the hardest cop. Uh, but yeah, you definitely have to have post notifications on because I guess Apple did not want to go by a time, a time schedule that they set themselves. So... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, definitely if you have post notifications on, you uh, were able to secure these pretty easily. But after that, we still had a few other drops on Friday the 29th. We also saw the Jaden Smith New Balance Racer Vision Racers 
there was two different colorways uh it was a black and a white colorway released on the regular new balance sites uh so we saw them on uh shop nice kicks on new balance in europe new balance us and then a few other places these actually surprised me. I thought Vision Racers were dead. I'm not sure about you, Luis, but I thought these were pretty. I thought Vision Racers were dead until uh, I'm seeing these numbers now. No, uh, same thing. I thought yeah. they were dead for you know because they've come out a couple times, and um, the shoe is not that revolutionary design wise, and I don't know how they are comfort wise. But one thing they do change about somebody is their height. They yes. make you they make you damn tall. I'm That's not gonna lie. True. That is very true. Yeah. So the retail on them is 150. Black one is going for one, about 160 to 200, but the white one is going for 180 to 200, if not a bit more in some certain sizes. So then there's some profit to be made on them. I don't think they were the hardest cop. I honestly didn't go for them. I'm not sure about you, Luis. I assume you didn't go for them since you don't think no. they're revolutionary. I know you only go for revolutionary stuff. Yeah, that I'm already I'm already tall enough. You know, I don't really need to get taller. There you go. So yeah. Uh, Congrats to anybody that actually went for them and copped. Uh, I don't know how many people actually did. Uh, like usual, I didn't see any success, but I can't say the last time I saw some success being posted on the Twitter. Uh, you guys are making me cry every single day because I don't see that stuff. Yeah, um, we've had to increase our budget for Cleanex here in the office. So, you know, just Jamal's been crying up quite the storm lately. Yeah, something like that. But uh, <laughs> we still have one drop on Friday. We saw a very, very, very interesting collab. We saw a Stussy hand dyed air force one so there was five different colorways one representing each city in their world tour uh retail on them actually ended up being 130 i'm kind of surprised i thought it was gonna be some crazy retail because they were a hand dyed shoe but hey they kept them pretty cheap they kept them at 130 normal retail price the crazy thing about it is the resale is right now i i it's hard i mean these were an online release i don't know how people even have them yet but the current resale, we'll see what ends up happening when pairs actually get delivered and people actually sell with actual in hand pairs. Right now, it's sitting at a thousand to two thousand dollars. So, if you caught, I mean, at the end of the day, there was only a total over all of the colorways, 250 pairs. So, there's only 50 pairs per color. Nearly impossible. Uh, I honestly, I'm very disappointed in Stussy. They didn't put any bot protection they didn't try anything sneaky they straight up didn't do anything they just released normal on the site like is like it's a, a brick release that nobody cared for that they thought was gonna sit i mean we've seen it these other shopify sites they put some effort in they make in a secondary site they're doing passwords they're doing a high heavy pop protection they're doing something to try to get people manual to cop these but stucy was out here for the bot users but hey congrats to everybody that got bots that ended up hitting you got a nice, a nice, uh, a nice little profit off of those. Uh, but that was the last thing we saw on Friday. Uh, is that something you went for, Luis? I mean, I honestly didn't try because I didn't think much of it when there's 50 pairs per color. No, same thing. Uh, same consensus. I was like, you know what? Um, I'm not going to get them. I was realist about it. Usually I'm like, oh, yeah, it's enter sneakers. You know, it's a pretty good chance. But when it comes to something like this, it's, it's pretty much a shot in the air. And I was like, really like, What's more important, you know, me doing something else or me trying to get this shoe? In it? And it just, at, at the end of it, it came down to me doing something else. That makes sense. I mean, yeah, we always uh, we always say stay optimistic, always enter, enter, try to go for the shoe. If you don't go for the shoe, there's no chance of going for it. So if exactly. you had the time in your day to try to go for this, you were just chilling on the computer. Hey, it's release time. If you try to go for them, by all means, it's worth trying to go because if they ended up having some heavy bot protection and it was only manual or able to cop bots didn't end up working there you go your shot just increased like crazy but you can't win them all sometimes uh ends up happening like this uh but on saturday the 30th we saw a decent amount of drops also luis what was the first few things we saw drop so on saturday we saw the nike sb dunk low pro come out in the street hawk of the colorway this was exclusive to this well this release i guess you can say was exclusive to the eu canada and australia on sneakers so it already came out in the US. So if you didn't get in the US, you had a chance to get this shoe in a different region. So a retail 110, current resale 600 to $950. So a pretty healthy resale number right there. Did you go after a different region, Jamal, or did you just like sit it out? No, this one I, I, I sat out. I just posted about it, but I was not in the mood to do some reshipping on this one. Damn. I probably should have. Yeah, I that was pretty sometimes. That was a good opportunity right there. So we also saw the Air Jordan 9 University Gold come out. This is a U.S. release. All the normal websites that released Jordans got them. You know, Foot Locker, Finish Line, all the regular foot sites and one-off Shopify websites. Current retail, 190 
resale two forty three hundred dollars so when this shoe came out like before the drop it wasn't that expensive but when it came out uh people saw scarcity on the market and the prices just started to go up you know so this is definitely something that if you did get um you'll be able to resell it for quite some money but this wasn't it on saturday you know saturday is filled with releases and what's the other release that happened jamal because it just wasn't these two and there was a whole bunch of fire that came out so there's a few other smaller releases uh, focused just towards Nike. So in Europe, we saw Air Jordan 1 Mid-University Golds. Uh, those dropped in Europe on Nike regular site. And also same colorway, but in low. So Jordan 1 Low University Golds. Uh, retail on the mids, 115. Right now, resale on the mids sitting about 140 to 200. So def definitely decent profit for everybody out in Europe that was able to cop these. Same thing on the lows, resale about 130 to 175. So same exact thing. Uh, good, good profit on these. So congrats to anybody that actually went for them. And then in the US, we saw the Air Jordan 1 mid black royal in men's and gray school colorways. So re retail on the men's, 115 on the grade school 90 men's 120 to 190 is the current resale it's definitely small sizes are what you want to go for on jordans uh the only exception for that if it's women's sizing big sizes usually go for a bit more but on everything else small sizes are what you want to go for so yeah definitely a good profit on those if you're able to get any small sizes those are what sold out extremely quick uh any sizes above 9.5 pretty much sat uh honestly they might be available in a few more in big sizes but yeah so if you're ever trying to buy them to resell if you're not trying to buy them for personal uh make sure you here's a, a nice quick tip go for small sizes on jordan ones but on the grade school retail 90 resale sitting about 105 to 115 so nothing crazy uh might be able to get some good profit local they sold out pretty quick and they stayed sold out they didn't restock like the men's uh so might see prices go up in the future. Not sure about that. Uh, this is actually something I went for, Luis. I'm not sure about you, but this is actually something I went for. I went for small sizes in the men's uh, just because, uh, you know, it's always, uh, it's good to try it and better safe than sorry. So I made sure to go for small sizes. But yeah, I didn't go for you, them. Oh, you didn't go for them? No, um, no. I was like, you know what? Like, I just want to sleep in, man. Because Saturday is a really big day for me. So I was, I'm just trying to rest, dude. Because Sunday... Sunday's the day we record for the podcast, you know? So you got to freshen up to make sure you're ready? Yeah, dude. I was just busy doing research, you know, doing my yoga, drinking my green juice, doing one arm handstands and everything. You know how I do, man. There but you go. I'm, I'm ready for this upcoming week. So this upcoming week, 31st to the 6th of February, um, Sunday, today, nothing. Monday, nothing. On Tuesday, finally something, you know, something comes out of the woodworks. So I'll, on Tuesday, we're going to have the Air Jordan 1 mid and grade 2 come out in the University Gold colorway. This is exclusive to Europe, and it's going to be Nike desktop release. So this is not going to be on sneakers. So if you're trying to get this, by all means, go into your Nike uh, website, sign in, make an account if you don't have one, and uh, just be ready for the alert, you know, because drop time is where it's at. Current retail is $90. Resale, $140, $200. So it's going to be pretty good shoe to go for so that's it for tuesday nothing crazy nothing wild wednesday nothing just nothing nothing but things start picking up on thursday the fourth i know jamal's laughing he's ready he's gonna go for it he's gonna do it. he's all, i know jamal dude stop doing flips all right calm down bro that's okay, so hey, the fourth, i'm too excited dude i can tell man like, you're crazy on the fourth we're gonna see the ambush nike dunk high and the cosmic fuchsia colorway this is a global release you know what global means jamal it means the whole world dude from north to south this is gonna be on sneakers and all the regular retailers soapbox shopify but not boot sites you know so uh retail 180 current resale 300 to 450 is this something you can grab the jamal is this something that's capturing your attention is this something that you want to buy for your special someone uh everything except for the last one is a yes the last one nah i'm the i ain't got no special somebody i'm just trying to resell these these are going straight to the selling block all right but it's gonna be a good one i think uh, everybody should be going for these don't sit out on these uh gonna be good, some good resell on these uh so i guess i should ask you are you gonna buy these for your special somebody this is about to be like a a, a valentine's day gift or something for you Ooh, 
shot fired de mal, I saw it. I saw no shots there. fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. I don't really have. I'm. I guess you can say I'm kind of a weird stage right now in my life. But um, this might. This Every might be stage in everybody's life is weird. Yeah, we're all on different. We're all on different cosmic waves. You know, as just long like as the shoe. Yeah, you know, I'm just having my green juice, you know, my turmeric shots in the morning, just trying to do a yoga, trying to stay healthy. But yeah, this is something I'm definitely going to go for, try to resell, make some extra money because Valentine's Day is 10 days away from Thursday. You know, trying to make that bread, man. There you go. You, know you got to pay, pay for those expensive Valentine's Day dinners. Exactly. And although Valentine's Day dinner should be in home, you know, because it's her. Oh, and I, I forgot. Can. We are still in Corona. Uh, yeah. So I guess for the expensive valentine's day uh, ingredients to cook at your house yeah you know only the best grass-fed non-gmo that's the sort of vibes we're on here at drop time there you go so yeah so on thursdays not just that shoe we also have the nike dunk high dark curry come out this is only for the eu so far as of now nothing has been announced for the united states but if something does become announced then we'll announce it too you know drop time we're always number one all the time retail 120 current resale 160 to 20 dollars so uh it looks kind of good you know this is this is this is something i'd, I'd go for i know jamal i don't know i know what i might you know, know you know me jamal. what 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 do you think that's something you'd wear because it's, it's 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 you know for you it's it's uh stripes <laughs> over checks no yeah yeah it's it yeah definitely uh stripes over checks for for personal just because i only wear black ultra boost but for resale checks over stripes Nah, that's true. This is this is cool, man. I, I got this. This kind of gives me like a somewhat like a chill vibe, you know, like a, like um. Yeah, it's not like a crazy out there colorway. It's nice. It's a nice like you can wear that every day. I can wear this with like some checkered, some checkered um, some checkered pants, checkered pants. Yeah, checkered pants and like a flannel. You wear checkered pants and a flannel. What a Dude. combo! Whew, you know my what fashion. Combo. Style, my fashion style is unheard of, man. It's unheard of. I got well, the best of now. <laughs> I got the best fashion, bro. Don't don't judge my fashion. I'm not judging, <laughs> but hey, it's heard of now. People know about it now. You might see people wearing uh checker pants and flannels with uh, these dunks everywhere. Yeah, bro. If you're loud, you're proud. But yeah, that's it for Thursday. No Supreme yet. I know everybody's looking forward to Supreme. I am too. I'm number one fan. Isn't it later uh this month though? Later in the month, yeah. Drop time we'll have it ready. So that's it for Thursday. Jamal, what's happening on Friday, man? So on Friday, we will see the Nike Valentine's Day pack. So we're going to see the first two shoes we'll see are the Nike Air Force One Low. Of course, it's called the Valentine's Day. Uh, retail on them 110. Resell uh, predicted to be about 200 to 250. So definitely a good profit on these. I think a lot of people are going to go for them. I honestly don't think they're going to be the easiest thing in the world to get. I think they'll be very, very limited and very hard to get. So make sure you try to go for them. Hey, your significant other might really want these if they into shoes. Uh, if they don't know about shoes, if you're not trying to spend the money, I don't know if you want to show them pictures, but let them know about drop time uh, just so they can also try to go for them themselves. Uh, exactly. But, yeah, but uh, we will also see uh, Valentine's Day colorway and uh, an Air Max 90. Uh, retail on those is 150 resale the estimated resale is about 160 to 200 so definitely i don't think they're gonna do as good as those air force one lows honestly out of the three there's gonna be three different shoes in the pack i honestly think the air force one lows are the best out of them i don't know it just uh it's a nice it's like a nice clean colorway and then that heart on the heel just sets it off compared to the other two uh, so that's definitely the one in my opinion is the best one to go for but I think that all will do well and they will all be fairly hard to get. So they'll all have some good profit. But what is the third uh, shoe out of the pack we're going to see, Luis? So we're also going to see a Nike Air Force One low Valentine's Day colorway come out. Um, this is going to be a global release. So anywhere you're in the world, you're going to be able to get it. You know, it's global uh, retail 130, current resale 160 to 200. Like Jamal said, these shoes are going to be kind of hard to get. They're going to be kind of rare, you know, because they are the Valentine's Day edition. So same thing as Jamal said, I'm going to say, if, you know, if you have a special other that likes sneakers, definitely get them. And if they don't know what to get you, then just link them to the to the podcast and be like, you know what? Listen to what's happening on Friday. Just get up an idea of what I want. 
And then they'll they'll listen to Jamal and I talk, and they're like, you know what, these guys are geniuses. I'm gonna buy those three shoes, and that's that's how it works. It's just as easy as that. Uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, but that is the last thing we see drop on Friday, and then what do we see release on Saturday the sixth, Luis? So Saturday we're gonna see a Nike Air Force One Experimental Racer Pink. So it's gonna be a global release. It's gonna be super, 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 super limited. Not a lot of places are gonna get them. So. I'll, well, outside of sneakers, so if you do see them on other websites that are not sneakers, then you can see a drop time tweet them out. Uh, current retail 120, resale 170 to 220. Uh, well, I don't know, Jamal. Do you like? I don't them? know about this one. This uh, <laughs> they definitely out there. Is def- uh, I I can see why they call them experimental. It's definitely an experimental colorway. Uh, I I think just I don't know. It's hard to say. I think. I think they'll do good just for the simple fact of they're so different and they're so out there that they'll do good. And if they keep them limited enough, if they're very hard to get, they'll do good. I think if there's any like general release, I don't think it would have done well. They look like salmon pink. If I would have called them the salmon pink doctor ones, because it reminds me of sort of like Doc? gives me like a doctor vibes. Okay. Yeah, I've don't... seen your doctor wearing some shoes like this. Dude, I'd, I'd be like, that's cool, bro. <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't say bro. I'm like, that's a really cool doctor. I really respect you. You know, because you got to be respectful of professionals and their time. Maybe you should get this for your doctor. Maybe, you know. I don't know, man. Maybe. They'd be good doctor shoe. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think think they'll end up actually being worth to go for if you're trying to sell them. If you're trying to get them, definitely go for them. They're not going to be easy to get. Uh, Yeah, I I think it'll end up actually being a decent shoe. Yeah, so that's not it for Saturday. We also have a couple more things that are going to come out. So don't hit pause and do not close the podcast because we still have two more items to talk about. So we, we're also going to see the Air Jordan 12 Low Metallic Gold Colorway. This is going to drop on sneakers, some Shopify websites, foot sites, and finish line, and other, all other websites that drop Jordans regularly. So retail 190, current resale 220 to 280. So this is more like a personal shoe, I guess you can say. I think look- so. I think these might brick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like personal shoe. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a personal shoe. You know, something you could throw on your feet. Go, go to the store. You know, go to Whole Foods and get some. Um, what's got a Whole Foods pizza? The pizza's really good, man. Is it? I've never had the pizza. What? Are you serious? Yeah. No, I've never had it. It's that good, dude. It's good. The vegetarian. Right. They have some like gluten free pizza. Okay. I thought it was gonna be bad, but it was really good. All right. I guess uh, I'll have to go to Whole Foods tonight and get some pizza. Definitely, you know, uh, take proper precautions, though, Jamal. But that's that's not it for Saturday. We still have one more shoe coming out. This is the most important shoe of Saturday. Well, most of them, one of the that's, most important that's ones. The, that's all a big three statement. of them. That's all a big three statement. The most important. That's that's massive. Dude, I'm saying they're all important, bro. Okay. Uh, well, what he thinks is the most important until he changed his statement was the Air Jordan Five Anthracite. So, uh, retail on them 190 resale about 220 260 estimate if they're hard to get they could be a bit higher in resale just like we saw for the jordan nines that dropped last week or i guess i should say yesterday since today is sunday uh i don't know i think this is a decent colorway i just think at the end of the day jordan fives have never gotten back into the swing where they're as hyped as they were at one point in time it's a good colorway it's a solid colorway if they keep it limited, I think that's where you'll see good resell. If you're wanting these for personal, you will have to actually try to go for them because I think a lot of people will actually end up going for them, even if they don't have a high profit, just for the fact that it will be an easy, quick flip. So if you're trying to get them, definitely go for them. Make sure you got post notifications on so you don't miss out on every single site that's dropping them because we will let you know. Uh, what's your what, what's your opinion about these, Luis? They're cool and everything, but like you said, the hype is not there. You know, the the prime hype time for Jordans, in my opinion, was like 2007, 2008. For fives? For Jordans in general. No, I think... what I, I still think Jordan hype is there. I'm talking specifically no, about fives. It's, it's, it's not the same, dude. I remember I'd pass by um, Foot Locker and all these other different retailers, and there'd be a super long line, dude. There'd be people camping there I for guess, days. Yeah, that back then, so, like twos would resell, eights would resell. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so the hype is not the same since 2007, no, dude. I remember going to Fly Club and paying a resale on threes and fours, you know? And that, like, there's some resale, but yeah, 
it's definitely you're not seeing like the three four hundred dollars on threes and on and that yeah that's true that every, it used to be every single jordan would resell yeah it, it, it's yeah but you know the market changed people adapted and people have different changed adapted. everything yeah car the easy, is, the easy, they changed they changed everything exactly but you know one thing that hasn't changed is drop time you know we've always been here for everybody you know dropping knowledge and everything and um we um there's going to see some changes coming out later in the week we're not going to go into it that much because we went to it last week so i, th- I kind of think we should leave it as a surprise jamal what do you think yeah i mean yeah like you said we went to it last week uh there's just a bit of delay in the anticipated dates of when we would actually be i guess like officially announcing things to the public on twitter uh but everything seems to be worked out so soon enough we will be able to actually tweet about what it is that we are talking about if you're not sure and you really want to find out you can go listen to last podcast like we so we talked about last week so just go listen to episode 27 and we talk about it there uh, but yeah soon enough soon enough big 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 things are coming and then that's just the start it's not even ends there then more big things will come and more big things will come and just get ready it's gonna be it, it's already been a wild ride and it'll just be continue to be a wild ride with drop time it's one big snowball effect you know one thing happens and the other thing happens and it's just a big domino dude there you so go. you know we're gonna make drop time making noises making waves in the sneaker world but you know Thank you, everybody listening for Drop Time, the self-proclaimed no one podcast that covers the latest sneaker releases. Make sure that you got those post notifications on because there's a lot of stuff coming out. We'll make sure to keep you guys organized. We'll make sure to keep you guys in the know on where things are dropping and when they're dropping with updates and alerts and everything in between. So make sure those post notifications on. Make sure you let people know about this so they're able to actually cop these limited shoes just like everybody else. They're always wondering on their Instagram and on their Twitter timeline, what's up with everybody? How are they able to cop these limited shoes? How is this even possible? This is new. I try to go on the site. It's, it's sold out instantly. The thing is, they only go on, on one site. We make sure you know about all the sites that are dropping. So make sure that you let everybody know that is trying to get into this game. That is just trying to get some personal, trying to resell. And we, we cover you for both sides. Uh, and make sure that you like subscribe and do whatever with this podcast you can share it let so you can uh, let some people know about what's dropping and what to go for because in the podcast is where we break everything down on twitter we're not breaking down resale and everything like that on the podcast we'll break everything down for you what's coming out and the resale like you have heard in this show so you can let other people know they're trying to get in this game i know a lot of people trying to resell because they just sitting at home this is a good way uh, to make some uh, nice side money but you can listen to the podcast on youtube you can listen to it on apple podcast on spotify and everywhere else you get your podcast so make sure that you stay tuned in because it's not stopping we have another crazy week it's a really packed week so make sure that you are ready for all of the craziness going on on behalf of the drop time team we wish you good luck good health and good vibes all around peace <laughs>